Hello everyone. Sorry that I haven't made any videos in like forever, but I can guess. But you can guess what this video is about because it should be in the title. And you know, on how many times I've tried to get my hands on the HBL exploit, it was never available. Well, in the U.S. really. Well, for the PS Vita anyways, you couldn't get your hands on it. Well, I finally got my hands on on the new HBL exploit. And let's start this up. Boom. Loading up. As you can see, the first menu. Which, I can't seem to get this emulator to work. This one crashes just as soon as uh, Mario starts walking out. Uh, Landcraft, I get that. That works for just a second and then freezes. And this one, I'll show you what that does. Because <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. Error, Lodestar, Home, Hook, or whatever the fuck. Alright, this one, I've actually managed to get to work. see. Alright. I'll start game. It's Doom, so. Here we go. It works perfectly. I really haven't seen any problems at all with Doom. Maybe switching, like, weapons. I've had that kind of problem. God mode. Alright. You know, I have everything, like, unlocked. See, sometimes it won't work. But, I guess it is working this time. Alright. I'll play this just a little bit. I've been trying to get emulators to work, though. That's mainly the reason why I wanted the HBL exploit. It's for emulators. But I've managed to get some things to work. Like this. So. It works pretty well. Yeah, right. Like anything can put up against this thing. Bitch. Anybody else? Nope. As you can see, I got through that as fast as possible. Alright. As you can see, I don't know how to exit that game without having to, uh... Well, there really isn't anything you can do to exit that game. That's that's the only way I know how to do it. Alright. I'll show you something else that I've actually... Like, I'll show you, um... What happens when I let up the... Game Boy emulator. The Master... Game Boy thing. See, I've only had like maybe one thing not like the one only one time where this thing did not boot up. I'll show you this as well. So look at this game license. This is this right here is pretty much the main menu right here. But none of these actually go anywhere. I bet they do, but we can't load them up. And then in save data, this is how you actually install shit. I'll show you something. Right here. See? Do you want to install this homebrew? Yes. Then it'll do this little uh, thing right here where it's pretty much taking the files and putting them in there. Yeah. See, you have to have them like zipped up or something like that. 
to install them. Then it goes in here. And unfortunately, there is no way to delete the games, though. So, uh, I've discovered that too. And here's the emulator for the Nintendo games, which you can see works pretty good, as it should. But, unfortunately, this is where I put my uh, Game Boy Color game to load up, and I can't get any of them to load up. So, I can't get this to run what it's supposed to run. It's pretty, pretty much useless to me. Those are like the, pretty much the only two homebrew I actually can get to really actually load up right now. But as you can see, it, it works. It's fully functional. And I needed to make a video of this. So I just thought you guys should, well, pretty much see it. Because this is pretty much how it looks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I will make more videos of uh, this later. Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be tons of videos that for me to make. After I really uh, get into this. I'll show you what happens when I try to exit. I exit. This little text will pop up right up there. Nothing will happen. Eventually a little error code will pop up saying... I don't know. Something weird. Telling me like I left the... Shit. But... Yeah. As you can see... Yeah. It's it's awesome that I can do that, though. But I will eventually show you the process of setting up how to install, like, PSP Homebrew to it and shit. Because it's kind of a weird installation type deal. Because you have to go through the save data. You're using the PS Vita save data function as a, a way to be able to load Homebrew. Alright. Alright, thanks for watching. I gotta, I gotta get this video uploaded. Thank you. All right. Bye.